our party committed to launching uh, a national and public inquiry into uh, missing and murdered Indigenous uh, women and girls. And upon uh, the election, you immediately uh, started working uh, with survivors, family members, and loved ones uh, of victims, as well as uh, national Indigenous uh, provincial territorial representatives uh, to seek uh, their views on the design and scope of an inquiry. In August uh, 2016, the inquiry uh, was launched, and yesterday the Independent Commissioner uh, Commission released its final report. How has and how will uh, this report change our country uh, for the better? I think, like the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, um, all Canadians um, now um, hopefully know a little bit more about what causes um, this tragedy, that, 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 and that it's ongoing. That it, it is about not only raising consciousness, but it's actually asking every Canadian um, to call out racism and sexism when they see it, to understand that the stereotypes that, that, um, that, that they need to own, know they, they still see are 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 wrong and that we actually have a, an obligation every single one of us to do something about this and it means that the federal government will do what it can and the provincial and territorial governments will do what they can and municipal governments indigenous governments um but but this is this is um about a tragedy and so you know from yesterday seeing bernie williams and Gladys Raddick, who first came to the Hill uh, in 2004 asking for the inquiry. I think that they walked this country seven times and, and, and still people didn't know. Now I hope that with the, with the release of this report and with everybody really thinking about, about this tragedy, these were, these were loved family members that are lost. Or are missing, and that uh, and that those family members uh, asked at the beginning for for three things: they asked for to seek justice for their loved one, support and healing for the for the families, and concrete actions to stop the tragedy, prevent it, to make sure that no other family would have to go through what they've had to go through. And I think that we will. We, we have raised the consciousness with this national public inquiry. It is what the families and the survivors asked for. And, uh, and it is uh, that, as the commissioner said, that once you know the truth, you can't unknow the truth. And, uh, and so it's really important that we go forward. You mentioned the, uh, the, the, the families and the survivors. Uh, can you tell me what you heard uh, from uh, the families uh, about what uh, this inquiry and the, and the chance to share their stories has, has meant to them? I think, as the Prime Minister said yesterday, there, there were those that um, were able to share their stories, and there's still ones that haven't. Um, we hope that, that, uh, that again, that, that unlocking the healing for all of the family members and the survivors. Was it really the first hearing in, in Thunder Bay the, in the pre-inquiry that I, you know, that we had, we had focused on the families, but there are survivors. There are people who um, woke up in an emergency department with bruises around their neck. They're, they're you know, um, my friend C.J. Julian that ran away from the Picton farm. Uh, uh, these are... These are courageous people who've told their story, and and uh, you know, as I've said forever, we can't let them down. We we have to move forward, and and this has to stop. Um, what has the federal government done uh, since the report launched to combat uh, violence against Indigenous women and girls? Well, I think that um, Minister Monsef's. Um, um, gender-based violence programs are uh, have been investing in community and uh, with her advisory committee th this has been very very important but I think in everything that we've known from housing to shelters to safe transportation uh, on the highway of tears we have been doing those 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 important things in the 
uh, in the response to the interim report, um, we invested an extra, as I said, $21.3 million on healing um, for the families, st stood up the special unit within the RCMP on wise practices and and um, it, uh, invested in some of the the community organizations on policing that these are these are things and and also been able to start the healing with the the funding that went to commemoration so i think we we've known that we we um we've always said we wouldn't wait for the final report but i and we need to keep going i think the changes to child and family services as i've said is is uh is 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 the transformational change to not have these children at risk or abused um, because of of this idea that so taking children from their families and their communities would be in the best interest of the child? That's been proven wrong, and now we've got to reverse that and uh, and work with our partners to make sure these children grow up as proud Indigenous. Uh, people um, with their resilience, their self-esteem, and that, that that is what will turn this around. When you think of a story or the ex to see Tina Fontaine's sure. grandmother there yesterday and realize what happened. Um, they